Hi everyone, I'm Akila. In this video, let us use some parameters to load the data from the source. I have an SQL query here, which is retrieving the data based on the order date for 2010 January 1 to 2010 December 31st. I'm using AdventureWorks DW 2017. So I'm referring to fact internet sales for your practice. So let me open the Visual Studio. I have created a solution and I'm going to update this package. So I just added a blank data flow. So let me use the global connection manager I created before, connect to the server and get the data based on my SQL command. I'm connecting OLEDB source. I'm using the global connection which I have created. Now here I can select SQL command. I can copy my command here and I can do a preview. There were 14 rows. We'll see whether the 14 rows pops up here. Fine. So here, instead of giving the dates here, mentioning in the query itself, we can use the parameters so that we can dynamically pass these values in the future for last one year or last two years or whatever. Based on our requirement, we can come up with that uh, value or we can explicitly mention these date in the form of variables and use it in these parameters. Let us do that. So to do that, let me click OK. Right click, variables. Let me add two variables here. Variable one as order start date. And data type will be obviously a date. Then only it will take the date format, date and time, value, as of now without using any expression, I will be updating this value based on the sample data, 2010. Now first, okay. Let me add the second variable, order end date. Data type will be date and time. And here, before creating any expression, let me manually enter the values and save the data. Now, if I go to my source, I, um, instead of giving the values here, I can replace this with question marks. So, it is expecting some parameters there. The first question mark will be treated as param zero and the next one will be param one and so on. If you click parameters, see this giving parameter zero and parameter one. So it is expecting some variable. So we know that variables will be starting with name user. All these are systems one, yeah. Order start date will be my parameter zero. Order end date will be my parameter one. Click OK. Now we can go and see the columns. Yeah, I want all my query select combined mentioned columns in my output. Click OK. Fine. Looks fine. So let me connect to another table and load this data. Let me create another global connection manager. So, so that I can connect to a different server and load this data. Yes, new. I want to connect to IBT database. Let me test the connection. Yes, it succeed. Click OK. Let me use this for my destination. We will get a destination. Right click, edit, use IBT database. 
Yeah, what you want here? You need to select the table fact in the seals. I want to see whether there is a data existing before. No. Close. Go to mappings. Let me see whether all the columns from my input source, that is Adventure Works, is mapped to the table in the IBT database. So I just as names are same, it is auto populator. Else I could have mapped them. Yes, all the columns has been mapped. Control yes and save. Okay, now let me execute this package. As we have seen in the database query, there should be some very few rows. We'll see how many rows has been moved. Yeah, only 14 rows has been populated from source to our destination. If you see in the output in Adventure Works, in fact, Internet Sales. There were like some 39,000 rows so, or 60,000 rows, okay? But based on our wave condition as a variables, we have mentioned for 2010 year, it is populating only four rows. This is how you will reuse the command, SQL command, parameters feature and the variables to pass dynamically some weird conditions to your query and load the data. Hope this is useful. Thank you.